YouTube, what do you do? It's your boy Spencer, man. Um, today, I'm going to be responding to an email that I got. And, and yeah, man, let's get straight into it. Uh, so my bro said, Yo, Spencer, I have two questions to ask. One, how did you deal with the stress of exams? And how did you get into the, into the right mindset for revision and exams? Uh, it's a good question. I haven't, I haven't covered this on my, on my channel yet. And, and, yeah, and yeah, I'm ready to dive into this, into this topic. So obviously I got my notes right here, right? But to answer the first part of the, of the question, how to, how to deal with exam stress you simply have to well, the number one advice I can give you is you simply have to prevent getting stressed about exams in the first place you, sim you simply have to prevent exam stress in the first place you know what I'm saying so how can you do this? well number one number one you have to, you have to simply put in all of the work that you possibly can. I have to realize that after you've done all of the work, you have to realize you have to realize that there's nothing else that you can do, and that you simply you simply put in everything that you can into the exams. Cause you, you have to think about it. Let's say I have like a football match right in like two weeks, and that football match determines. If, if my family dies or something, right? If I don't train and get ready for the football match, then obviously I'm going to be nervous when it, when it comes to actually performing in the football match. So it's the same thing with like exams. If you don't revise and put in the time needed to do well, then obviously you're going to be stressed about, about the exams. You know what I'm saying, G? So yeah, G, tip, num tip number one is simply you have to put in all of the work. You have to put in as much work as you possibly can to, to come to the conclusion that there's nothing else that you can do and that whatever result that you get, you put, it, you put in as much effort as you possibly can, all right? Number two, uh, the second part of your question was how, how did I get into like the right mindset for revision and exams. Well, how do you get into the right mindset? That's what I did. So, throughout like my years, my years at school, right, I always used to think of myself as like being like an athlete. And I would always think of like exams as being the Champions League final, you know what I'm saying? So, so by me thinking that, oh, okay, I'm an athlete, and the the exams are like the final destination. The exams are like the final test. The exams are like the Champions League final. It automatically gets me. It gets me energized. Like it gets me pumped. Like I feel ready to to train. I feel ready. I feel ready to train. I feel ready to study and put in the hours. Cause like these exams are like I said, they're like the Champions League final. So yeah, you simply have to. What I did was, I simply thought of myself as an athlete. And obviously, athletes have to train in order to be in the best form for the final test, which is the Champions League final or the World Cup final. And yeah, that's how that's how I got into the right mindset. I think of myself as like an athlete. I would get pumped. And yeah, G, like you have to be excited for exams. Like you can't be nervous. I can't lie, bro. Like all of you guys are probably nervous for for exams, but you have to switch it. You have to switch how you're feeling and change and convert that nervousness into excitement. Like, going into my A-level exams, I felt excited. Like, I, I was like, I was energized. Like, I, was just, I was like, let's do this, man. Like, literally, on my, on, on like, as I entered the exam pool and I sat down on my, on my chair, right, with the, with the A-level paper in front of me, I, I, was literally la I was literally laughing. I was, I was literally laughing in my exam chair. I was like, I was just ready, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt excited, like, I was just ready. 
because I already knew, and this goes back to tip number one, I, I already knew that I put in all of the work that I can put in. And I already knew that my hard work will pay off. So yeah, but you have to be, you have to, you have to think of yourself as like an athlete. An athlete has to, has to train every day to be in the best form. And that's what we have to do. We have to study every day so that when the exams come, we're in the best form. All right? So those were some of the ways that I dealt with exam stress and and were also some ways in which I got myself into the correct mindset for like exams and revision. To go through it again, number one, you have to put in as much you have to put in your all. Like you have to you have to put in as much work as you possibly can. And you have to realise that at the end of the, at, at the end of the day, right? You put in your best. You put in your all and whatever result you get is reflective of the work that you put in. Number two, think of yourself as an athlete. You have to train every day, right? You have to study every day so that you're in the best form possible for these exams. If you don't train, then obviously you're not going to get the result that you want. Think of the exams at the Champions, at the Champions League final. Or think of them as the World Cup final. Like you have to be, yep. Okay, think of exams as something that will get you personally pumped. Like that will get you like, like ready, like hyped, like hyped up for it. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to get yourself hyped up. Like you have to get your, you have to get yourself hyped up. Like you have to be energized. Like you have to be ready. You know what I'm saying? G? So yeah, bro. Um, get get yourself hyped up for the exams and and number three, you should be excited not nervous like literally as i said in the like i said earlier i was literally in my exam chair for a levels i, I was literally laughing i was laughing I was, <laughs> oh god it's funny man like, I, I was literally laughing bro like i look i look around me in in the exam hall i see everyone everyone just like everyone's, everyone's like this everyone's like this I'm there, I'm just laughing, I'm just looking around, I'm just like, hey, let's, let, I'm just like, let's do this, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, those are my, my tips and advice on, on, the, on the question, bro. If you grind, you'll succeed. If you do nothing, you'll stay the same, G.I. Right? Let's go, man, let's go. It's currently 118. I don't know if you can see that, bro. 118. But I just thought that i get this video out for you guys. So yeah man, if you grind, you'll succeed. If you do nothing, you'll stay the same, G.I. Oh, I'm looking ripped. Hey, let's get it.